All right, hey guys. So, I'm back with another Q&A. This time, it's just gonna be questions getting to know me that you guys ask on Instagram. So, I have them all right here on my phone. And we'll get right to it in a second. Um, I did wanna say, sorry about like all the crazy craziness with my last Q&A uploading and stuff that was a nightmare on my end and I think I learned from it so whenever this one's done being edited I hope it'll get up a lot quicker but thanks for all the good feedback too about my pregnancy Q&A you guys are awesome and gave me literally some of the best suggestions as far as like baby stuff and clothes and just all the, the whole nine um, so I really appreciate it thank you so much but yeah, so this whole self-quarantine thing is hard. I literally have been living in sweatpants and no makeup. So today for you guys, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready. Maddie gave me a blowout. I put on like a cute outfit and some jewelry. I'm like, oh, I remember what this feels like. Cody, no. My dog. Alrighty, so let's jump right into the questions. What? What? What do you want? Ignore my quarantine nails. You guys complimented me a lot in my last video about my nails and now they look so bad. But I'm sure we're all in this together. We all need a mani-pedi at this point. Okay, the first question is where did you grow up? I was born and raised here in Sarasota. How tall are you? I'm 5'6". How old are you? I'm 25. I'll be 26 in June. What self tanner do you use? Um, I use Loving Tan. I'm obsessed. You can get it at Ulta. I just ordered it online. And I use their mitt, the Loving Tan mitt. Um, and I just put it all over my body. I put it on my face, my body. And I do it like right after I shower and like shave and put lotion on. And then I just like let it sit until I shower again, which is usually the next morning. I like to sleep in it so that it like really soaks in. It said dogs or cats? Dogs. I'm super allergic to cats. <laughs> what are your life goals? <clears throat> um, so professionally, I wanna own a successful salon and then possibly open up multiple multiple locations um, and then personally I just my goal is to be the best mom ever the best partner ever and just a good person to everyone in general I feel like that's a good goal to always have and strive for what sports did you play growing up so early on when I was younger I danced and then we got into tennis. My sister and I got into tennis. Probably like when I was five, I'd say. And tennis was our whole life. Like we had our, our tennis coach. We traveled across the whole um, state of Florida to go to tournaments and we were ranked in Florida. And then probably in middle school, I got into volleyball too. I'd still play tennis, but volleyball um, really started interesting me. And I loved the team aspect of it. Like I love tennis. I think everyone should play tennis in their life because it's something you can use when you're older too. But then like being on a team is another awesome experience. What is your favorite music? Um, it really just depends on like the mood that I'm, I'm in at the moment. But I love country music. I grew up listening to country music. My mom's from South Georgia, so she's she always had that playing in the car. And then my dad, he would always have like rap playing. Like I remember me and my sister and my brother got him a 50 cent CD for Christmas. <laughs> so that's where I get that. I love rap music and hip hop. He'd always like bring us to every rap concert front row. Like I literally got on stage with LL Cool J when I was like 12. <laughs> But yeah, I love country, I love rap, I love R&B, love R&B, alternative, 
I like the vibey stuff. Um, again, it just depends on my mood, really. I love all music. Uh, what is your, what are your favorite movies? Um, Point Break. Whenever Point Break came out, I loved it. I don't know why. I loved that it was like an action movie, but there was a lot of like surfing and sports in it too. And like I thought all the guys on there were so like badass and cool. And one of the main characters' name is Bodhi, and that's actually where I got my dog's name from. I'm like, I'm gonna name him Bodhi after my favorite movie, Point Break. A Star is Born. I could watch A Star is Born over and over. And then I love Crazy Rich Asians. That's a really good movie. Um, someone asked, how would you describe your style? Um, I would describe my style like boho, sexy, rock and roll inspired because I'm, I live in a banty most of the time, a banty and like Lulu leggings when I'm like just hanging out around the house or running errands. I love comfortable. Comfortable is like key. I'd rather be comfortable than cute and uncomfortable. What is your go-to hairstyle? A blowout. I had a blowout in my other video and I'm like, should I curl my hair? Like do something different? And then Maddie's like, no, you know you just love your blowout. So she gave me a blowout. And it's true, I hate my hair curled. I don't know, I feel it, I don't feel like myself. Uh, do you and Alex live together? Yes. What kind of friend are you? Um, I'd say I'm a ride or die. Who was your biggest influence growing up? This is a good one. Honestly, the first person that comes to my head is Chris Marquez. He was our tennis coach. Just a good person in general to look up to. And to this day, I still do. I don't see him as much as we used to, obviously, because he was always around with tennis and all growing up, and now we're all so busy, but um, he was our tennis coach, and I don't know, he, he would give us, like, not just, like, coaching advice, but, like, ways to look at things differently. Like, the first thing that comes to my head, too, was this talk that we had I think I had like a rough day on the court and I don't know if I lost or what, or it was really hot, but I, I remember I was complaining because I was like just sweaty and over it. And he like, I think he came over that night for dinner because we'd always have like family dinners at my house. And he like pulled me on the back porch and we like had a heart to heart and he was like, he's like Alyssa, like, I know you had a rough day and blah, 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 and, and you were sweating and hot and miserable, but don't look at it like you were sweating. Look at it like you were cleansing. And I don't know, I like, that stuck with me. Like to this day, I swear he's like a big reason why I look at things in a more positive perspective because it's true. Like also super, super Christian and he's a surfer dude, so he would take us surfing um, all the time. So, I don't know, he was just a big part of our life growing up. Uh, what's your favorite smoothie recipe? Um, currently, my favorite smoothie recipe is pineapple, mango, banana, spinach, with pineapple juice. Oh, so good. And if you ever wanna like add peanut butter or almond butter to it, that's really good too. But that's just a good, green, clean, healthy smoothie. Do you have any bad habits? Yes, and I'm sure a lot of you can guess what that is because I'm doing it constantly, playing with my hair. Playing with my hair is probably my worst habit. And I can't help it, I literally just do it. What is your biggest pet peeve? Mm. I hate when people mm, don't know how to manage their time because I'm so like, like if I have somewhere to be, I'm going to be there 15 minutes early or 
right on the dot. Like, I will never be late. And yeah, some sometimes like ish happens and you're late, but you know you have that one friend that's like always late no matter what, or you know that they have to be somewhere and they're just like chilling with you and you're like, dude, you gotta go. <laughs> I don't know, I hate when people like don't know how to manage their time and they're late. It drives me crazy. Cause like whenever I'm late, it stresses me out. Like it does. And I know it's one of those things you sometimes can't control like traffic or whatever. But that's my pet peeve <laughs> is when you're late. Tell us one thing about you that no one really knows. Okay, um, so whenever I was a kid, like my mom just put me in school, I was painfully shy, like painfully shy, like wouldn't talk to anyone. I would go through my best friend to communicate with like the teacher or a friend, another kid. And people, like all the kids ask my mom, like, does she know sign language? Like she doesn't talk. And my mom's like, what? Cause I would talk at home obviously. And like the teacher would like ask my mom too, like why doesn't she talk? Like what the heck? But I literally like was so painfully shy that I couldn't even like talk to people. And the reason that like I even met my best friend like during all that, was because she came up to me and complimented my socks. She's like, I really like your socks. And like to this day, I remember they were little white socks with like fringe on them and like star, gold stars. And I was like, I guess I, I liked that she complimented me. And we were like this, like from then on, like to this day, we're still friends. She lives up in New York now, but um, yeah, I was painfully shy. That's something you guys don't really know. About me and honestly I'm still shy I would still consider myself shy what do you do in your free time um in my free time I so this is like let's pretend the corona is not going on because right now we're all not doing anything at all <clears throat> um, I like to hang out with my friends and my family my man um, Love going on the boat, the beach, laying out by the pool, anything in the sun. Um, working out, boxing. What is your favorite color? Um, my favorite color is turquoise. I'm usually always wearing jewelry with turquoise in it. And I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be like, where'd you get that? Um, but a lot of my turquoise I get whenever I travel. So like, if you're ever in Nashville, they have really cool vintage stores that have uh, real turquoise cuffs or rings or earrings. I went out to Colorado, I got some stuff, Utah, Greece, like wherever I go, I like to get a piece of turquoise. I don't know, it like reminds me of that vacation that I had. And it's just cute. And it's my favorite color. But yeah, turquoise, the color of the ocean. Do you have any siblings and are you close? How are you guys different? Um, yes, I have two siblings, um, a sister and a brother, older sister, younger brother. We're very close. We're all two years apart. Um, so Allie, she, she's an attorney. She's very studious and she's super studious, conservative disciplined, um, she's, she's more, like, she's very competitive, um, she has her loving side too. Me, I'm more, like, artsy, free-spirited, not competitive, uh, but I do love to succeed, um, I don't get mad when I lose a game. Nick is like a mix between both of us. He's super easygoing, soft-spoken, he's quiet, but he's so funny. Um, him and Allie are alike. 
and the ways that he's disciplined with school. And then he's like me, because we're both like super easy going. And then Nick's actually about to be an engineer. He's about to graduate from FSU too. How many times have you had your heart broken? Um, two times. And I've learned a lot from those two. What is your favorite childhood memory? That's a hard one because like there's so many good memories. Honestly, like growing up on the water, we we made so many memories. Growing up on the water, growing up also going up to Albany, Georgia, which is where my mom's from and her family. So we had a house up there and making memories up there. We'd have like huge 4th of July parties every year that like our other family would come to and stay with us and then like everyone in the neighborhood would come to. Uh, so that was a really, really awesome memory. But yeah, just like growing up on the water and going on the boat and as a kid we would go like, there was like this little island behind our house and we'd go to it and like search for crabs and like collect them in our buckets and make like little uh, environments for them. <laughs> And yeah, I don't know, there's so many good memories. Also, I love like thinking about like the little things in life that I remember, like gardening with my nanny or going to like plays with my grandma at the Oslo or seeing my papa and like him like picking us all up and pretending that we're like so heavy, like 3,000 pounds, he'd be like, and like just as kids we're like we think that was so funny and like we thought we were so heavy and we grew and I remember we'd also like talk to him on the phone and he would always know because this is my papa who lived in Albany so we wouldn't like see him year round just whenever we'd go up there he would always know what we were wearing and as kids like you're like oh my god how does he know but he'd be like yep so we you have on a nice pink shirt today. It looks really lovely, and and your your jean uh, skirt or whatever. <laughs> so like the little things like that. Those were really good memories too. Are you religious? <clears throat> Definitely. I would be lost without it. If you just want to like feel better. Oh, <laughs> Alex's little sister is calling me. Hi, Nini. Alex is coming here. I know. Can I call you right back? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> She's the best. We, we literally FaceTime like 30 times a day. She'll call me. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Here in Sarasota, Florida. I really would pick it over everywhere. And just travel wherever you want to go. Is your salon opening going to be affected due to COVID-19? Yes. Between the corona and getting late in my pregnancy, the salon's looking like it's gonna be after the baby now. Where did your mom get your name? Uh, okay, so whenever I asked her, she had absolutely no idea and said that she hated the name Alyssa before she became pregnant. And then um, my middle name is actually from my grand, my dad's mom's maiden name, which is Noel. And she suggested to switch the L and the E. So it's Noel, which I thought was, I think it's a beautiful name. And like as a kid, I'd always be like, oh, my middle name's Christmas. <laughs> I would tell all like my friends. My dad wanted to name me Slay, S-L-E-I-G-H. So that was going to be my name before Alyssa, <laughs> which is so funny. It's honestly kind of cool, but I don't think I look like a sleigh. I think Alyssa fits me better, but yeah, that was going to be my name. How do you keep your hair so healthy and shiny? Um, so I've always really had pretty straight, shiny hair because I've had black hair my whole life. Um, I do glaze it now, with, like every six months probably. And a glaze is something that just puts shine and softness into your hair. You can also add a tone. 
So I like to do Shades EQ Gloss 1B and um, I'll leave it on for like 10 minutes. And that just gives my natural some richness and shine. But ever since I like got into the industry too and like being around all the products and whatnot, I just found what works for me and keeps my hair healthy and shiny. Um, I think the key is to feed your hair with healthy, good um, ingredients, nothing from the drugstore, and you'll have you'll have your dream hair, <laughs> shiny, good hair. I honestly envy people though with curly hair. Like I think curly hair is so pretty. My hair, if I do curl it, it falls really quickly. Where do you buy your clothes from? Um, oh, this is easy. So my top like go-tos are Free People. This outfit's from Free People. Free People, Show Me Your Moo Moo, Revolve, and then Bandit and the Babe and Envy are the two boutiques up in Albany that I'm always at when I'm there. How big were you when you were born and how big was Alex? I was a big baby. I was 10 pounds, two ounces. Yes, and my mom pushed me out. I don't know how. Whenever my dad tells the story, he always says, like, they wanted to suck you out with a vacuum and I was like, Allison, my mom, push. <laughs> and she did the dang thing. She push me right out but it freaks me out because that makes me feel like I'm gonna have a big baby which I know I probably will because Alex was like eight pounds I think eight pounds something which is also a big baby not as big as 10 too like my dad literally told me I couldn't even fit in the newborn diapers like he had to run up to the store and get like three month old diapers because I had plumbers crack because I had a big booty <gasps> how do you pronounce your last name and Alex's last name that's funny. My last name is Salerno, and then his is Compotocris, also known as Compo. How did you get started in the hair business, and did you go to college? Um, Why are you crying? I'm out. Okay. How did you get started in the hair business, and did you go to college? Um, so I've always been super into beauty and um, whenever I graduated high school my plan was to move to Tallahassee and go to FSU and follow in my sister's footsteps because that's where she was at the time and I did that and I did a year of school but after a year and like during all that I was kind of freelancing with makeup and like doing my friends makeup and hair and stuff but after a year, I, w I knew that my degree that I wanted was fashion merchandising. That's what I was like originally planning to do. But I knew I didn't like want to do that in my heart. I'm like, you know what? I want to learn how to do it all when it comes to beauty, like weddings, hair, makeup, nails, skin. Like I want to learn it all. I don't want to just do makeup forever because that's what I was super interested in. Um, so like one day I just called my dad when I was up there and I was like dad I want to go to hair school <laughs> like and he supported me and so did my mom and my sister and my brother and it was the best decision I ever made and when you're in hair school it's kind of <laughs> in hair school it's kind of discouraging because you don't know what you're doing like at all like honestly I could sit here and tell you I didn't really learn much in hair school I learned more like when I got out and really got my hands in it because when I was in it you're just learning it and you're trying to be a sponge and soak it all in but the best um, learning is the experience and just like doing it once you're you're in the field because um, I don't know, a lot of people are like, oh, hair school's so easy, like, that's like, that's everyone's plan B, but no, it was my plan A, the best decision I ever made, I got an awesome job after, right out of hair school, and they have continuing education, so I got to work with Bumble and Bumble, I became a network educator, um, 
I got to do other things and just do hair behind the chair. And that's when I like really, really became inspired and learned and got good at what I did. And now here I am planning to open a salon in Sarasota, which is really cool. But yeah, that's how I got started. What is gonna happen to your baby shower due to the pandemic? Um, honestly, it's still up in the air. Like we were originally supposed to have it April 11th, but had to cancel that. And then we were like, let's just reschedule it to after all of this, um, all of this social distancing or whatever you wanna call it, quarantining. So, but now it's like, there's no really clear answer as to when it's going to be over. So everything's just still up in the air as when it comes to my baby shower. I don't know what we're going to do. I know a lot of people are doing like virtual ones or drive-by ones and seeing all these different ideas. But we had it all planned out like Beth, Alex's mom, literally already had it ready to go. Uh, so I hope it still works out. But again, I don't want to risk anything especially being this late in my pregnancy. The corona's not, the corona's a serious thing, so we can't ignore that. Who does your hair? Uh, me or Maddie? <laughs> I cut my own hair. Avery, she does the extensions whenever I want extensions. And then Maddie will glaze it, she'll style it, blow it out, usually, my blowouts are what I'm wearing. But yeah, either of us too. What's your favorite candle? Ooh, literally I think I have one burning right now. The Anthropology Volcano Candle, always in my house. Usually in every room in my house. It's my favorite candle ever. Um, I love like when they have the seasonal ones too, like around Christmas time and fall. They're so, they just smell so good and they, they just fill the whole room up with the scent and they take forever to burn. I hate when like a candle like burns in a week because I like to have that ish lit like all day. <laughs> and then I also like the Fabrique candle. Fabrique's a boutique. We had one up in Tallahassee. I don't think there's one in Sarasota, but they always had this candle burning. Like whenever I'd walk in, I'd be like, I need that candle and I would buy it every single time. What are your favorite things to do? Love to go to the spa. Love it. Getting facials like is my favorite thing or a massage. Um, I'm not kidding. If you're ever like in a bad mood or sad or just having an off day, go to the spa or go to the gym. I swear if I go to the spa and get like a facial or if I go to the gym and box, I'm like, I'm good to go after that. What is your zodiac sign? Gemini. How do you deal with negative comments? Honestly, delete and block. I honestly get so many now that I just tend to block it out. At this point, it's like, I don't know, I just can't like relate. Like I could never go out of my way to write something negative to someone on online. Like. What do you get from that? Like, it doesn't feel good, you know? It doesn't make you feel good, it doesn't make them feel good. Like, why do it, you know? So I just, I don't take it personal. I know the truth and uh, the day, like, it, they're trolls. Like, whoever wants to put negativity on your page, it's like, clearly they're going through things that putting the negativity out on someone else's page makes them feel better and it just, it's honestly sad. Like, I feel bad for those people. So I just delete and block. It's like, if you want to be negative, you're not going to be on my page. Bye. Well, hello, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to head out. <laughs> uh, yeah, but what I was saying about the trolls and the negative comments, just ignore them. Like, that's my tip. Just ignore it, delete it, block them. They have nothing better to do with their life but sit behind a phone and computer and type negative-ish, because they're unhappy, so just pray for those people. Yeah, a lot of people are probably gonna be like, oh, she just wants positivity, or she just 
can't hear like the negative ish. But like, no, that's not true. I can I can take a lot of thick skin, but who wants that on their page? You know, it's like if I can delete it, I'm gonna delete it, and I'll block you. What was your childhood like? Um, my childhood was full of great memories. It was very busy, um, full of family and friends. Uh, my mom and dad always had their front door open to have friends and family over. Uh, like My dad would always want to throw parties, like Christmas parties, Fourth of July parties, birthday parties, um, just get togethers on the weekends like we just always had a busy household like our house was always the house that like friends would come over to and like sleep over like our our kitchen was always stocked with like the bad stuff like fruit roll-ups and rice krispie treats and cereal and just all the junk food so like all of our friends would come over and like eat all this stuff and like we would be like so used to it we'd be like what like <laughs> it was busy with sports, like tennis took up a lot of our life. We'd go to school and then go to tennis right after school and then play on the weekends too. Um, on Sundays, we would always like take the boat out in the jet skis and go to this one sandbar and all my dad's, my parents' friends would like meet us at the sandbar and like set up big like tents and have food and like all the kids would be running around and all the parents would be partying and just being on the water was so fun. Honestly I feel like that's how like me and Alex are gonna be too because like we love being on the water and so do all of our friends so maybe we can like start that memory up again um, but yeah my childhood was good it was awesome such good memories I could sit here and like tell you so much but you guys would get probably bored. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite animal? Um, besides dogs, panda. What is your ethnicity? I'm Italian. Or the last question. How are you so forgiving and easygoing? Oh, thank you for, for saying that. Um, so I, I was raised to forgive and I always try to do the right thing. Um, and I know that the right thing in my heart is forgiveness. And that doesn't mean that you have to forget. And it doesn't mean that you're weak. It actually takes a really strong person to forgive. So never ever take that as a weakness. But I don't know, it's just something good for yourself to forgive and not like hold on to something you know it's good to just like let go and get past something and forgive so I don't know that's that's just how I was raised honestly was to be a forgiving person because it's the right thing to do wraps it up for my get to know me Q&A so I hope you guys know me a little better now. I will be doing more of these videos. Um, you guys are probably over the Q&As though. I probably need to switch it up. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like a beauty tutorial or something talking about beauty products or something like that. Uh, the reason why me and Alex can't do our Q&A right now is because he's so busy studying and stuff. I think I mentioned that earlier. But I know you guys really want to see that. So that'll come one day but maybe I can do one with like my bestie or I don't know. Give me ideas. I love hearing y'all's ideas because I don't want to bore you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and until next time, I will see you guys later. Thank you.